Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Ocho in the game thus far of yeah. the year. Mm -hmm. Colorado beats Baylor in overtime. Travis Hunter is yeah. the guy. Seven catches, a buck 30, and the game-winning walk-off force fumble. He was sensational. Shador Sanders, bro. Mm -hmm. For Shador Sanders to get sacked eight times, to take as many hits yeah. as he took, to get pressured mm -hmm. as many times as he did, and to still stand yeah. in the pocket. He got outside of the pocket, pocket on the Hail Mary, but to look down the barrel and to make plays mm -hmm. unfazed, Ocho, mm -hmm. that's unbelievable. Yeah. That guy got he that young man has poise. His daddy, he look, he's been mm -hmm. a quarterback his all whole life. His daddy is raised mm -hmm. him well. Normally, coaches' kids are very well coached, they're very disciplined. They study a lot of film, especially when they play that position. Shador Sanders was mm -hmm. sensational last night, and this was the biggest win thus far in, D in Coach Prime's mm -hmm. tenure. I'm very, yeah. very happy because I'm sure everybody was waiting to pounce. You see what happens when they step up in talent? When, in talent. Oh, oh, he yeah. can't beat no oh, two yeah. D1 team. Now you got to right. save that until next week. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, oh, yeah. now we're going to gloat. <laughs> we mm -hmm. gonna gloat, but yeah. I'm gonna try to reach out to him, Ocho. I'm gonna call him here in about 35 minutes. And oh yeah, yo, listen. If, if you call, if you call him out, he coming on now. He, I'm gonna call him. On. I, I just I, sent him I, a text right before we came on. Yeah, but I'm gonna call him. Uh -huh. I'm gonna see if you, I'm because I know okay. he got he has obligations. His normal presser right. and things like that. He has a TV. He has a radio show. So I'm gonna let him get through his right. obligations. But I am gonna call him in about 30 about 35 minutes and see if he'll come on. Right. We might be moved on some see? to some other subjects. But if coach, if right. uh, if time comes on, guys, we're gonna oh, circle, we, we're gonna oh, circle we gonna back. We're gonna go back. We're going back. We're circling we're back. back. We're circling back. Straight U turn. Yeah. Listen, they can say what they want. The media can say what they want about Prime. The media can say what they want about uh, the program, the players. But one thing about when the Colorado Buffaloes are playing, the game is always exciting. The game is always entertaining. They had a little slow start. They had a little lull and had to come back. But the way this game ended is what it's yes. all about. For, for where they come from when they were 1-11 and and winning one game to where they are now, which I would like to consider them must-see TV, despite what others may think, and Travis Hunter, if he is not in the top spot to win the Heisman Trophy, yeah. they need to cancel all yeah. the voting from now on. Yeah. Not only is it effective on the offensive side of the ball, but making big plays on the defensive side of the ball, actually winning this game for the buff tonight speaks volumes. Speaks volumes. Now, we've had this conversation before. Now, I saw something come out about Travis Hunter saying that everyone is saying that he can't play both ways in the NFL. And the more I watch him play at the collegiate level and contribute on both sides of the ball, making plays on both sides of the ball, especially after the night, the more and more I feel he will be able to get it done. Again, I will still in say. He, 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 in packages, especially from a defense. Yeah. The defense. Ocho, do you realize, think about it now. So you go guarding mm -hmm. Tyreek, Jefferson, Chase, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, CD, A.J. Brown, mm -hmm. uh, Armand St. Yeah. Brown. Those guys, Come on yeah. now. Okay, now you go yeah. to the offensive side. You got to go up against Sauce Gardner, mm -hmm. Sertan, Stingley Jr. Uh, come on now. Uh, come on now. They, they, hey, hey. Yeah. I'm not saying, like I'm saying, he's talking about playing mm -hmm. full time. We're not saying that he can't right. do it. We're saying he's going to have to right. play. It, it, there'll be packages. Like they have for his coach, right? He knows Prime. Mm -hmm. Prime, like, bro, y'all yeah. try to do put me out here against Dion, put me out here against Jerry, Sterling Sharp, Chris Carter, right. Michael Urban, uh, -huh. uh, uh, Chris, uh, 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 uh Herman Moore, Andre Rising, yeah. And then you still want me to go over there and, and then try to beat those other guys, the Daryl Greens and right. Niels Williams. Yeah, that's asking an awful lot to play that many snaps. Yeah, he is immensely talented. Mm -hmm. Immensely talented, Immense. but to play yes, 100 sir. snaps in the NFL, 16, mm -hmm. 17 weeks. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, it's, it's a lot. And I, I hope for his sake that he has to remember you want to get drafted as wide receiver. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The money, the money, the money, the money, the money is at the wide receiver position, right. but you can make even that much more if you're able to get those packages installed yeah. because they would have to pay you yeah. for that. They have to pay you double. Goddamn, Sheho Sheho Atani is making seven hundred million because he's great at two mm -hmm. things. Really great at two things. 
batting and slugging, and he can go out there and strike out 11 or 12 a night. But you, but you see what happens when he just plays one? He ain't doing this yeah. if he pitching. He ain't going 52 and 52. Mm-hmm. You right. see the difference? Now he yeah. has that. Yeah. Think about it. He's just a DH. So all he does is hit mm-hmm. and take his ass back to the dugout. Mm-hmm. So either you're going to strike him out or mm-hmm. he's going to steal a base or you're going to hit it over the fence. And he back in the dugout chilling. One or the other. One or the other. So, yeah. Could he do it? Yeah. But how how impactful? Because at the end of the day, you want to have yeah. impact. What, Regardless of the side mm-hmm. you play, you want to have impact. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I think right. time is the perfect guy to navigate this because time was really the mm-hmm. last guy to like do it, to play receiver. Um, I think uh, some mm-hmm. one of the receivers got hurt and time played it, but he wasn't an every down receiver. He was an every down DB. Right, right, they right. had packages for him. Mm-hmm. He came in on third down. They had certain packages for him. And that's where he, he was able to uh, 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 to shine in that situation. But this right. but this young man exactly. is unbelievable. Because like I said, I'm old enough to remember yeah. Champ when Champ did both of them. Uh, Woody, Charles yeah, Wilson, Charles Wilson won the Heisman Woody doing both bit. of them. Um, uh, Miles Jack. You remember Miles Jack, the uh, UCLA, the linebacker and running back? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've seen guys do yeah. it, but it's hard for me to say somebody did it higher. Like I said, I believe he has a great chance. Right now, he's the leading. He's the leading candidate for the Heisman, and it's yeah. not even close, Ocho. By it's far. not even close. By far, by far, by far. Now, it, it's to us, to us that understand the game. It's not even close. Now, to the voters who we don't know, who we don't know, I, I, I couldn't even name name a voter. You know how they are. They like to play games. Now, they like to play games based on who they like, and probably because he plays for Prime, because he probably played for Colorado. That's a knock on them anyway, <laughs> and they would they would they would a personal vendetta not to even vote for I him. I just hope they can when win like six or seven games. Clear goddamn Ray Charles to see he's a clear yeah, favorite he, to win the goddamn. Because here's the Ocho. The question is, he's the best player in college football. Yeah, we're not saying he's the most important. We know the importance of a quarterback, but the Heisman Trophy right. says the best collegiate player. Tell tell mm-hmm. me, I want to know. Hey, and I watch, you know, I watch, we watch college football because on on Saturday, we're going to have to come on. You tell me the college football player right now, be it Arch Mm -hmm. Manning or Milrow, you talk about, tell me the quarterback, right? Tell me the quarterback, Mm -hmm. running back receiver that's better than Travis Mm -hmm. Hunter right now. Yeah. Not, not, not only better that that's must see TV. He's must see TV. No matter what, if the Colorado Buffs are playing, I know it's prime and what prime brings to the table and with the charisma and the personality and everybody want to see him. Someone it's like Floyd Mayweather. Some are tuning in to watch yes. him fail. Some actually want to see him win. But Travis Hunt, it's all about the product you put on the field. The product that goes on the field, people want to see Travis Hunter. When the Atlanta Falcons were playing, people wanted to see Michael Vick. When the Minnesota Vikings were playing, people wanted to see Randy Moss. Yes. I mean, that, that's just what it is. When the 49ers were playing, they wanted to see Jerry Rice. And then when Jerry left, hell, shit, they wanted to tune in. They wanted to T-O. see yeah. T.O. Because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Those, type, those type of players, like a Travis Hunter, is what puts seats. Butts in seats. Puts asses in the seat. Look, and Yeah, put, put asses in Oh, Joe, people are talking about Cam. Look, we're not trying to be dismissive of anybody. We th- I think Cam Ward is playing unbelievable. But the best player... Mm-hmm. In college football, right. as we and Ocho and mm-hmm. I talk right now, it's Travis yeah. Hunter. It's not yeah. close. Yeah. Yeah. It's not close. Yeah. Cam, Cam Water. Yeah. Cam, Cam Water is nice, and he is he is solely even, responsible for the, for the turnaround, for the turnaround of the Hurricanes. But what 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 Travis Hunter brings to the table? Yeah, what Travis Hunter brings to the table not just as a player, but in other aspects that you can't even that that you can't even quantify or talk about. That has nothing to do with Heisman voting is completely different. It's eons above yeah. what any other college player has to offer. Yeah, if you you got to go back a ways to find a, a, a college player. Um, I mean, there have been some guys had some unbelievable season. Um, Joey B mm-hmm. had an unbelievable season, the 60 touchdowns and almost the 5,000 yards. But man, what this kid is doing at the level, he's playing over 100 snaps a game. And he's impactful yeah. on both sides of the ball. There's one thing, oh, Joe, you yeah. know, we, we you get guys that come in like, oh, he played both sides of the ball. We're talking about a guy that's impactful. He's leading the team in receiving. He's he yeah. uh, pass breakups, uh, uh, picks, fumble, forced fumble, the biggest play of the game. Mm-hmm. He caused it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was him catching the football, getting them in position, making, got the P.I. Right. He almost made a great catch, and they ruled that it was incomplete, mm-hmm. but he gave, got the P.I. He's he's a phenomenal talent. He's a phenomenal talent. And the thing is, he's raw. Just think if he worked on a skill set, just think on this as a son, we want you to, we want you to do this. So we just want you to do that. Right. Do you realize mm-hmm. with this talent how good he could actually be? Hey, if he gets with if he gets with certain receiver coaches that can fine tune everything, if he gets with certain DB coaches that can fine tune everything, there's a DB coach, man. Listen, there's a DB coach in Atlanta. His name is Oliver. I think Oliver Davis, and he works with some of the some of the NFL DBs. Boy. Man, listen. If you get what you know, receiver factory uh, for, for uh, as far as you know, fine tuning the the the, the receiver you know, stuff. It's all about the release. Though, uh, listen, a gold feed global. Some yeah. of them dudes that really work on this stuff. You know what they talk about? Um, it's all about release. Uh, route God, man. Man, listen. Um, Tra- Travis has has the chance to be so special. He can almost be something we haven't seen yeah, sure. before because he's so dynamic on both yeah. sides of the ball. Just. He needs to get a little stronger um, because, I yeah. think, you know, you, you saw on one of the plays that he ended up getting the DB, let the DB ride him. You got to get that hand off you. Get the hand off you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Hey, and, get, right. and give Shadur a big target. But like I said, he mm-hmm. it's hard to work up when you're good at a lot of different things. It's hard to specialize in one thing. So he's not like Ocho. Right. He's going over there like, OK, today I've got to spend. I'm going to spend working on routes. Because guess what? They got right. practice. They got he got he got to go cover the right receiver. So I can't work on route. Yeah. Or he can't say, okay, right. I'm gonna work out a backfell of transition. Well, you got to run routes also. But he's just raw. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about just God given gifted ability. Oh, well, yeah. You might not have seen yeah. a whole lot of guys that have more God given ability than what this young man possessed. Right. And his desire mm-hmm. to be great. And and time has yeah. done a great job. I think time told his mom, I'm, I I ain't in his life for two or three years. I'm going to be in right. his life for the rest of his life. And mm-hmm. he treats him like he's his own son. That's, that's you know, he promised his mom, he promised his people that he was going to take care of him, he was going to look after, and he's done everything that he said that he was going to do. Because that's right. the thing, Ocho, when they go into these moms and grandmoms' house or their parents' home, mm-hmm. I'm looking at that kid. He said, time's like, look, I played 14 years in the NFL. First ballot Hall of Famer. I'm the best d- defensive back, arguably one of the top five defensive players to ever play this game. Your son good enough right. to play at the next level. I would love the opportunity to help guide him through the next three to four years of his life. Not only help him achieve the level of going to the NFL, but I want to help your son, mm-hmm. grandson, become a great young man, become a great pillar yeah. of the community. That's what I'm offering. Because mm-hmm. he can go anywhere and yeah. go pro. But I'm yeah. offering the opportunity oh, yeah. to guide your mm-hmm. son, your grandson, mm-hmm. to a level of respect. He's a pillar in the community and it's something. Not only can you be proud of what he accomplished on the field, but you'll be more proud of the son and grandson that you raised. Mm-hmm. That's what you go and you sit down and you try to sell parents and grandparents. Yeah. And I think time has done an unbelievable job because he cares about the kids. Like I said, I know him a lot better than most people. Everybody just see the brashness and him talking and the curls mm-hmm. and all that. But I right. know him on a much deeper level. The man has always wanted to coach. A lot of times, like, bro, I ain't really called to talk about no coaching, bro. Man, but the kids, the kids. He loves kids. He loves working with kids. He has the patience of Job. Um, and yeah. but but this kid right here, man, he he is he's special. I I, I he's special. He's special. That's all I can say, Ocho. He's special. And I've been around some great, some great talent. Like I said, I was in the league. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. only a year, I'm a year behind uh, 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 time. Uh, I was in the league when right. Bo was in the league. So I saw mm-hmm. greatness up close. But to watch this kid and to see what he's able to do, I pl- played against Champ. Really I was good. in the league with Woody, uh, Charles Woodson. Man, he's special. He's special. Oh, yeah. He's special. Um, that was... Shador, I don't know. What, I mean, what do we say about Shador? 25 of 41, 341, two touchdowns. He got sacked eight times. Think about it. There was yeah. a stretch, Ocho. He got sacked four times on five on five possessions. Mm-hmm. I mean, on five, knows, on, five on five different, uh, you know, five plays, 
four sack four times. Mm-hmm. You, you know what's funny about quarterbacks? Most of the time, what happens to them when they continuously get hit, especially they get at the collegiate level, <laughs> you get gun shy, you get yeah. rattled, you get happy feet. You stop. You stop going through your mechanics. You stop. You stop going through your read. You stop processing information the right way. Well, you start looking you for start the rush. Sh- you start in bingo. You start anticipating. Yeah. It's what we call in the, in the NFL what we call mm-hmm. seeing ghosts. Even though you don't got yeah. hit so much, yeah. Ocho, and it's not there, you anticipate it being there because you don't got hit so much. Exactly. And then all of a sudden, like you said, you get to happy feet and you start seeing mm-hmm. things that isn't there. Right. And not even there. Yeah. Nah, yeah. God. Yeah. Nah, Listen, he, nah. He was, po- he, was po- he was poised the whole time. He was. The whole time, regardless of what was going on around him. He was, he was sensational. Ocho, I, I just couldn't understand. If you mm-hmm. watch, if you watch Baylor, Baylor play. If I don't know how many plays they ran, hold on, let me see, let me see team stats because I want to see. Give me just a second, Ocho. It's coming. I think it's coming. Here it is. Uh, see, you had the ball for twelve more minutes. They had a hundred plus more yards. Uh, turnovers, total play. Hold on. Total yards. First down, see, you had 24. Uh, they were very cl- comparable in third down efficiency, 7 of 17, 8 of 18. Right. How many plays mm-hmm. did – uh? don't they give you college plays? Do they still – how many plays did uh, see you run, Ash? But when you think about it, let's say see you ran 80 plays. Right. Baylor probably played 76 snaps of cover two. Because mm-hmm. we dare you to run it because we don't believe you can. Run yeah, the ball, we, don't yeah. believe, we don't believe you can run the ball, especially efficiently enough to scare us and make mm-hmm. us drop down. So they play in cover two they, yeah. or they play in cover 25. And so when I look at it, I'm like, bro, and then see you, they run it man because they can't generate pressure. I was like, bro, get out of that man. Because guess right. what? The quarterback just like pretend like he's looking for somebody and then he takes off. And take off. Or, no, yeah. or you get picked Wait. off and it's the guy running Scott mm-hmm. 3. I'm like, bro, y'all got to get up out that man. Then yeah. what- uh, if anything, if, if, if anything, because you have a dual threat quarterback, if you're going to play man, you got to have a goddamn spot. Well, they tried with Harris. You got to have Ocho, they tried to play. They tried to play cover one. When I got in the league, we used to call it lurk. Because the, the safety they beat, right, right. and then he'd be lurking down, looking to pick mm-hmm. off crosses. Yeah. They started calling it, right. Seattle started calling it robber. Cam Chancellor was the mm-hmm. robber. Robber, and yeah. So what it, and what it meant, he was robbing any crossing routes. Remember how he blew up mm-hmm. uh, Demarius Thomas, rest his soul, in the Super Bowl? Yeah. Remember how he caught Vernon mm-hmm. Davis? All those crossing routes, yeah. how he was blowing people up? That was the coverage. Single high, mm-hmm. robber. They, got, they ran that snap, and then it was like, bro, you can't run that. Because everybody else got their back. If it's not a crossing route, think about it. If it's not a crossing route that he's picking off, then what happens when the quarterback Mm -hmm. comes out the back door? Yeah. 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 I say, man. But it's like, like I said, you and I play, having played the game, understand when you start pounding the quarterback, uh, Al Davis calling the famous, uh, uh, saying he said the quarterback must go down and he must go down hard. And he needs to go down hard. (laughs) within the first couple of possessions of the game. Right. Because now... Get, get him off the field. Football in its truest form was always about intimidation. I'm going to knock your oh, block yeah. off in the first quarter, whether you catch the ball mm-hmm. or not, because I'm going to plant that seed in your mind. Yeah. See, it's so funny that you just say that. I'm one of the few players, right? If you think about it, and if you know my history, you know, as a player... And in my resume, it speaks volumes. It speaks for itself. Like I was, I was the enforcer. I was the intimidator. Like if you've talked to Ray Lewis, if you talk to Lawyer Malloy, you talk to to Rodney Harris and to Ryan Clark and Troy Palomalu, like they were they were scared of me. They were scared because I intimidated them before the game even started. Colorado ran eighty three plays, Ocho. I guarantee you, at least seventy five to seventy seven snaps was covered to a two man. Uh-huh. Because you right. played that seven man box, Ocho. Because mm-hmm. I can protect, I can protect my corners. Because CU does have speed at the wide out position. I can protect them with mm-hmm. shell safety, but I don't believe you can run the football. So I can stop you with this light oh. box, which is a seven man box. 
Yeah. It was just the flip side for Baylor. Baylor was like, uh, nah, we finna, we finna, y'all can't, y'all can't, y'all can't run. So right. I'm just gonna play this shell. See you like, well, damn, we can't really stop with seven. So we got to drop this safety down. Well, when you play that coverage like that, quarterback got legs and most quarterbacks in there, most quarterbacks now, the likelihood of you finding a pure pocket quarterback, that's over. Slim that's over. Slim that's over. That's over. You're not going to find a Tom Brady. You're not going to find a Drew Brees. You're not going to find a, 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 a Peyton Manning anymore. Eli Manning. You're not going to find those. All these guys, I'm not saying they're going to be Mike Vick or Lamar Jackson, but they're going to have the ability no. to punish you with their legs. Mm -hmm. The Dan Marino days are over. Those, mm -hmm. those are over. If you look at the quarterbacks that have success now, all of them can do what? Punish you with their legs. I'm not saying everybody yeah. is, is Justin Fields or Lamar Jackson or Josh Allen, but if you go back and study the last two Super Bowls, it was Patrick Mahomes' yeah. legs that got them out of harm's way. And that's yeah. the difference now. So you playing these coverages, oh, he ain't going nowhere. The hell you say, them guys go them guys gonna take off on you. And when you go past them, and that's what you have to understand. Once you yeah. get even with the quarterback, so he take his drop. Normally, er very few quarterbacks now, Ocho, play up under the center. Everybody's in the gun. So by the time they take the, you know, get the ball and take those three steps back, if you are the edge rusher, yeah. once you get even with it. You better not run your ass up the field. Mm -hmm. You better level off oh, because he'll jump out the oh, window. Yeah. And he gone. He gone. That's it. But, man, that was what an unbelievable game. Um, what Pride has done, this was the worst Power 5 football team in America. Mm -hmm. They won one game, yeah. and they were nobody was interested. Nobody covered Colorado. All we know is that they lost all the time. Now, we are, we know now whether you like or dislike their own ESPN, their own Fox. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why. Yeah. There's a reason yeah. why. And like mm -hmm. you said, it's kind of like the Floyd Mayweather. Uh, some people tune in because they want to see Prime do well. And then some tune in to say, man, I sure hope we lose by 40. Yeah. And, and you know, it's like when people attack his son, as I told him, I say, bro, they ain't attacking your son. They're attacking you. Because, see, yeah. that's a – what were they going to say? Oh, he got beat? When? Who? <laughs> oh, he had a bad game? What? What were you watching? But, see, any little thing <laughs> they can nitpick, see, a bully, if he can't beat your brother up, he going to pick on you. Right. So that's their way of trying to get at him uh, at, at time because for 14 years he was untouchable. But what I saw from Shadur, Man, he made it the right stuff, OJ. Nice. He made it the right stuff. Nice. He, hey, listen, he like a, he, hey, you, take you a look at it and keep on ticking. Yeah, you know what's important? When draft time, when draft time comes, the situation he goes to, not what pick he is. I don't, I don't care what pick he is. The most important thing, the situation he yeah. goes to is extremely important that they have the supporting cast surrounding him so he can play. At, at his highest level. It ain't it ain't how high you go, it's where you go. The right situation you always, determines always, your success. Always. Go yeah. to the wrong situation oh, yeah. and people swear you can't play. Play, yeah. A la, a la Brother Bryce yeah. Young. Hell, who could play? Hell, they didn't think Sam Darnold could play. They had Baker Mayfield looking out there like he was, like he was walking backwards. Now he go to a yeah. steady situation, a stable situation, he has quality. He at, has a Mike Evans. He has Chris Godwin. You look at Sam Darnold. He um, has quality receivers, and they still haven't gotten Jordan mm -hmm. Addison back yet. And look at the way he's mm -hmm. playing. Now you put him yeah. in some place that they, that that's that the old line isn't very good. The organization mm -hmm. isn't very good. He doesn't have he, because right. at the end of the day, we all play dependent the positions. We're dependent on mm -hmm. someone for our success. And then look, yeah. I, I keep telling you, look at Peyton, what Peyton Manning had. Peyton Manning had Marvin Harrison, and he had and he had uh, 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 Marshall Falk. He had two first ballot Hall of yeah. Famers the day he set foot in Indy. And then they drafted Reggie Wayne in the first round. They drafted, they traded Marvin Harrison, mm -hmm. and they ended up, uh, not Marvin Harrison, they traded uh, Marshall Falk, and they drafted Edger, Edger and James with a top five pick. Dallas mm -hmm. Clark was a first yeah. round pick. 
Anthony Gonzalez was a mm-hmm. first round pick. Joseph Adai was a first round pick. They had Brandon Stokely yeah. in there. You see? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, don't, don't forget about Dallas. Yeah, they Clark, drafted man. Dallas Clark with, he was the first round pick. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes situation. He had Kelsey and Tyreek. And then they bring Sammy Watkins in. Yeah. And th- th- those, I-, I-, I call those competent owners that know how to draft well. Well, general man, I mean, the best thing to happen if you got a general manager that understands. Uh, I love Howard right. Roseman. You see what they did? They're like, oh, look, man, Jalen Hurts, if we want him to succeed, look at what he had at Alabama. He was throwing, right. he was throwing to Judy. He was throwing to uh, Waddle. He was throwing to Ruggs. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. throwing. He went to Oklahoma. He had Hollywood. Yeah. He had CD. Yeah. He was throwing to some dogs now. So if we want to see, throwing, he's still throwing if throwing. we want to see him succeed, okay, we drafted Devontae. Let's go get. Oh, AJ Brown available. Okay, let's, let me get that. Let me get that. Yeah. yeah. The, one hand washes the other. You want your the quarterback other. to succeed. Yeah. You put people around him to help him succeed. You want your receivers to succeed, give them competent quarterback play. One hand washes the other. But uh, right. Prime, this was an unbelievable finish. Where uh, uh, Ocho, we almost got 50,000. Come on, chat. Call some friends. Tell them to catch you on the nightcap. Unc and Ocho, we are live. Prime effect. Colorado Buffalo, hey, 38 31 over the Baylor Bears in overtime. Shadur Sanders, 25 of 41, 341, two touchdowns. Travis Hunter, seven catches, a buck 30. Sensational. And forced fumble that ended up the game, ended up creating a touchback, and the Colorado Buffaloes win it in dramatic fashion. After mm. being down by 14 points, they come back late. They were down 31-24 late in the ball game. They get a Hail Mary at the end of the game. They get the ball in overtime. They go down the field. They score. They force Baylor to fumble, and they win a ball game. And so now they're, what, 3-1? and one? Colorado 3-1, and they're 1-0 in the conference. So congratulations, CU Buffaloes, Coach Prime, Shador, CU fans. I know you guys are loving that, and congratulations. <laughs>